What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC Double Battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon China Pearl. In today's video, your boy is bringing you guys an absolute banger. We got ourselves a Yan Mega and Life Orb Ducario Hyper Offensive Team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the community. We've got tons of content coming along the way. We're doing BDSP right now and Sword and Shield. And coming very, very soon, we got some brand new Mario Kart content coming to the channel. So hopefully you guys are excited for that one. Like I said, click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all my videos. But I'm just working on a layout. And once I get that layout done, we're going to be hopping onto those online races, showing you guys some courses, showing you guys some good builds, all that good stuff, and just having fun on that. Just having fun. It's just definitely going to be a fun series to record for me. But let's get started here with today's team preview. We're starting off with the one and only Yan Mega. And Yan Mega is such a cool Pokemon. Flying and bug type, it's, it's just awesome to use on the BDSP ladder. That's why I really enjoy playing BDSP because you can just use a bunch of random Pokemon that are fun to use. We got the Focus Sash as its item. And then we're rocking with the Speed Boost ability so we can get a plus one speed at the end of every single turn. And last but not least, we have an amazing move set of Air Slash, Bug Buzz, which is both Stab. Then we got Protect and you turn to Pivot Out. Next Pokemon on the squad is going to be Weavile, and Weavile is top tier in BDSP. Top tier. It is so good at fake out control and speed control. It, it's just amazing all around. It's one of the fastest Pokemon, plus it hits like a truck as well. So we got fake out, we got ice punch, we got throat chop, both for stab, and then last but not least, we're rocking ice wind to drop our opposing Pokemon speed and just have speed control for the battle. Item for this guy is going to be the extra belt to give it a nice little pinch of damage every time we do a super effective shot. I think it's 1.2 times multiplier. It's just great all around. Next Pokemon on the squad is going to be Garchomp. Cannot have a hyper offensive team without Garchomp. One of the best physical attackers in the game. We gave it the Yachi Berry, and then the moveset it's rocking is obviously going to be Swords Dance, Protect, Dragon Call, and EQ. In my opinion, it is definitely the best moveset for any Garchomp. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Lucario. And Lucario is so cool. Definitely everyone's fan favorite from uh, Gen 4. And it's just amazing all around, considering we gave it the Life Orb so we can hit hard. We got Aurora Spear, Nasty Plot to set up, Flash Cannon for stab, and Protect Head's moveset. And then Ability is going to be Inner Focus, which works wonders because he can't be intimidated or he cannot be faked out. So, really do like this ability and the item and the moveset build on this Pokemon. Fifth Pokemon on the squad is going to be our Heavy Special Attacker, and that is going to be this Rotom Wash over here. With the Citrus Berry, and then this thing is rocking, you know, that typical moveset of Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump, Nasty Plot, and Protect. Really, really strong. Really like this Pokemon in most situations. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be our support Clefable. And Clefable is a really good support mod. I just feel like it gets overshadowed by uh, Tokus because Tokus is, you know, so OP. It hits hard. It can use Follow Me and all that good stuff. But I really like Clefable over here. It's got Follow Me as well with Moon Blast to hit for stab damage. Combine to set up that special defense and special attack boost. And last but not least, we gave it Safeguard to protect us from all status conditions. So if we're going up against a Sleep Team. We're just going to set up Safeguard and we're going to get rolling from there. Guys, there's the team. Here it is in all of its glory. Now let's go rock into that Coliseum and get some wins with it. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into battle number one for today's video. Locking in this amazing team. And I cannot wait to use Yan Mega and Lucario. But we are going up against an absolute banger of a team. A mono electric team with Raichu, Pachirisu, Jolteon, Manetric, Luxray, and Electivire. So this guy got a lot of lightning rods going on here. He's got a lot of nuzzles and paralyzes. And then he also has that motor drive on that... uh. Elected buyer, so I can definitely see what's called coming out crazy. Uh, the discharge into the elected buyer, so Garchomp could be so good. I think I might just go Garchomp alongside with Yamega because then I can EQ freely. I can go uh, into Fable. Fable ain't bad to set up maybe a safeguard here, could be pretty good. I could maybe protect and go in the safeguard and then hard swap into Rotom, but I just feel like sending EQs is probably our play. But you know, we're gonna go Fable here because I think he can lead the Raichu. And then we can go from there. So I really do like that. I really do like that. And then we're going to go Yan Mega. Actually, do we even go Yan Mega? We definitely want Lucario here. And I kind of want to bring Yan Mega, but at the same time, it's just like, let's not bring Yan Mega. I don't know why, because, you know, Electric kind of can just dump on it. But we do have the Focus Ash. So I really do like that. Oh, this guy picked six Pokemon. This guy picked six Pokemon. So it looks like we're bringing everybody in here. It looks like we're bringing everybody in here. Wait, but I was in the blue corner. I thought I picked four. I could have sworn I changed it to four, but you know what? I make mistakes sometimes, guys, but it's okay. We're going to rock six here. We are going to rock six. Let's see what this guy rocks out with. going to go in with the Jolteon alongside with the Raichu, and I just think the fake out's going to come across. So, you know, what? I'm just going to protect Garchomp. I'm going to set up the safeguard all day. I'm just going to set up the safeguard all day. Let's see what these guys do. Garchomp's going to protect, because, again, I do think fake out's coming across here from Raichu. Then I can set up the safeguard just so Nuzzles can't really come across with us. Yep, there goes the fake out. Let's set up the safeguard here all day, baby. Safeguard coming in hot. Discharge, flying through. Lightning Rod's going to poke. That's fine by me. That is fine by me. Lightning Rod, all good. All good. He can't hit my Garchomp with Electric Move. 
The safeguard is going to be out here so Nuzzle can't really affect us. Or like he can't really get paralyzed. I really do like that. So, it can be good for us. Lovely. Safeguard out and about. Out and about. We love that. We love that. Left is going to poke here. And now I could hard swap into, say, Rotom here. Which couldn't be bad. Or Yon Mega. But I, I think I'd rather go in the Rotom here. Just drop EQs, right? Drop an EQ. Up in EQ all day, or I can stay in here and just you know follow me this shot, or just moon blast on the Raichu because I'm guessing Raichu's focus out. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Fable eat up the shot here. Charm's gonna come through here. Oh no! Oh no! This boy's rocking charm. He's rocking charm. He's gonna bolt switch out. He's gonna bolt switch out into another electric Pokemon. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. Wow, dude, this dude charmed me. He's rocking charm. We do not like that one bit. So now we're minus two. It still should be able to do a decent amount of damage. Maybe we can get a crit. Maybe we can kind of just go from there. But physical attackers are not look good in this situation. Not one bit. Unless we get rid of that, uh... Unless we get rid of that, uh, Jolteon with Charm. EQ's gonna poke here. That thing's rocking Shukaberry. Good call by him. And we're gonna pop off some damage. So not bad damage onto Jolteon. We are gonna actually double down into the Selectivire. With this lovely little Moonblast. And then we're just gonna get more. What is my play here? Probably just go for a follow me. And then go into another EQ, right? Kind of dig that. I kind of dig that. Or I could hard swap. I could definitely hard swap. But follow me might have to be my player. He might charm me. But if he does charm me, the follow me is going to poke out here. Which still should be able to take out the Jolteon. And then I could eventually swap. I could eventually swap. Follow me is going to poke. Let's get rolling, dude. I need my guard charm. Guard charm is going to be MVP for this match. Hands down. Jolteon is going to discharge. That's fine. He's going to get that motor drive. And as long as my Fable can eat this up... We could be sitting in a good spot, which I think, I think he can. Fable, all day. Love you, Fable. He's going to go for the Ice Punch. Block. Get out of here. Okay, cool. So, Fable eats that up. That's perfect for us. We're going to drop a nice big EQ. We should be able to take out Jolteon from here. And are we going to be able to take out Electivire? I think we can. Beautiful. Even when we're charmed, we're still ripping with damage. We are still ripping with damage. The Guard Chomp, still a huge stun on the field. He's probably going to bring back out Raichu, uh, which I'm totally fine with. If he brings back out Raichu, I could go into a Pokemon with Protect. And just double protect out. Or I can go into Weavile. Might as well go into Weavile. Weavile outspeeds. Right? Yeah, yeah. We're going into Weavile. I'm pretty I'm predicting him going into Raichu here. So you know what? I'm just gonna go into Weavile. I'm just gonna roll off from there. Luxury's gonna fly out here and show me the Raichu. Show me the Raichu. Oh, would you look at that? It's the Raichu. Jeans is making some hard reads again. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um I don't know what I do here. Intimidate's coming out here. That's rough, dude. That's so rough. Um what is that play call here? I'm gonna I'm gonna dragon call here. You know, I'm a sword dance. I'm gonna sword dance from here. And I'm just gonna fake out the Raichu. That's gonna be my plan. I'm gonna start getting my attack boosted back up. On my own. No need to swap out the guard chomp. We have a turn to boost it right here with this fake out. If I can flinch him, he might go for a uh, protect on the Luxury, which would be gorgeous. Which would be gorgeous. But I know my Weavile should out to be the Raichu, so we should be able to flinch it and kind of get rolling from there. And more importantly, most likely the Raichu is Focus Ash, so we can just go from there. No protect from the uh, Luxray. We flinch that Raichu, which is beautiful. And what's Luxray going for? I'm kind of confused. Is it Rocket Ice Fang? It might be Rocket Ice Fang. Could be scary. It definitely could be scary. It definitely could be scary. Let's see how this one plays out. Ice Fang does come out here. It is rolling with Ice Fang. It is rolling with Ice Fang. We're going to be able to eat that up all day. Thank you, Yachi Berry. And then I think we just hard swap and go into EQ. Right? EQ and then... The Yamega, I do like Yamega, but I feel like that thing's going for just a straight electric move into my Weavile slot, so I'm just going to swap in the Rotom. I'm just going to swap in the Rotom. We're playing with every single Pokemon except for Lucario and Yamega, but they'll definitely come in here. I think they'll come in uh, next Pokemon that dies. But right now, Yamega doesn't really look well on a up against a lot of these Pokemon. And uh, see, like, Yamega would have just been hit hard with it. Would have brought him down to focus Sash. And Lucario, we just don't need him right now. We just have other Pokemon way out options so he's going to Volt Switch out. He's going to have to go into an Electric Pokemon, <laughs> which we're dropping a big old EQ on. We're dropping a big old EQ on. Levitate comes out from the River Time. Great hard swap from us. And this should take out the Luxray, even though we're minus one. It does not. Wow. Wow, they soaked up pretty well there. They soaked up really well. He's going to go for the Ice Fang. That's going to take out the Garchomp. The Garchomp pops out here. I'm fine with that. Cool with that. Uh, I could protect. I think I'm thinking of going into Yanmegi. Or I could bring back out Weavile. We have options. We have options. I think he's rocking the Shell Bell. Shell Bell's coming out here. Um. Curry could come out here. And I think we're just gonna. Do we save her? Yeah, Mega. This one's gonna be close. Hmm. 
Brum, 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 brum. I don't want to get Yamag out here. Tell the Weavile in the back. I'm going to get Yamag out here. Yamag is going to poke. I do not mind using Focus Sash here. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to Bug Buzz. I could actually U-turn Pivot here. I'm thinking I'm just going to Bug Buzz and I'm going to rip into a HUD. That's going to be my play. I was going to protect with Yamega just get the speed boost, but I think we're fine on the speed board. I think Yamega should be fastest. He's just a naturally fast Pokemon. And I, I don't think we should waste a turn with this uh, protect. Do not think we have to. Could go into follow me. That is definitely an option, but I think we're looking good here. Yep, there goes follow me. Bug Buzz should come out here first, and we're hoping Bug Buzz can, you know, sauce up enough damage to actually take this thing out so the Rokatom can take out the Luxray. But we'll see. Here we go. Nice little Bug Buzz. Take it out. Yo. Get him out of here. Let's go. My dude, yo. Yamega hits so hard. He hits so hard. It's lovely. Hydro Pump flies through here. Yo, Luxray, get on out of here, yo. We are buzzing out. We are on a heater. We are on a heater. We got him right where we want him. He's probably going to cancel battle after this. Yamega comes in here, cleans up that Pachirisu, allows my Rotom to actually pair up there and get that uh, follow me shot off or neglect to follow me and take out the Luxray. And now my Yamega is sitting here with plus one speed. He's going to be able to do some big damage up onto these next Pokemon. Raichu. Oh, we can't fake me out. There's a fake out ready to roll. And my natural. Okay. Uh, Both lightning rod Pokemon. Uh, what do I do? I think he's going to fake out Yamega. So, you know, I'm just going to protect Yamega. I'm just gonna go into a hydro pump here. Fake out's gotta be coming in, Yamega. Let's see if we can go two for two on the on the fake out calls. Let's see. I'm too good with the fake out call. I'm too good. <laughs> I'm way too good. Way too good with it. This charge comes through here. Rotom, I think Rotom should be able to eat that up. So if we didn't if we didn't actually protect our Yamega, he goes down there. He gets the fake out. Fake out would take off his focus ash, and this charge would just absolutely. Can you eat that up, Rotom? I love you. Rotom eats up. Sister's Berry's gonna poke. We're gonna go to munch time right there. Eat a little snack. And we're going to go back up to about half health. A little, a little bit less than half health, I should say. Hydro Pump comes out here, and it connects again. And it connects again. Raichu should go down here. A little lightweight here. Yeah, get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. We're just outplaying our opponent right now. Outplaying him hard. Doing some good hard swaps. Protecting at the perfect times. Reading his moves. We're doing good. We're doing good. Even though, even though Garchomp did clutch up doing a lot of damage for us. So I'm still with it. But we're going to go into Hydro Pump again. And then we're just going to go into a nice little Bug Buzz. But I think Battle Cancel, right? No, he doesn't cancel. How much damage are you doing, yeah, Mega? Oh my god, dude. This thing hits like a truck. It's like an absolute truck. Discharge pokes through here. Uh, Rotom soaks. Rotom soaks alongside with Yamega with his Focus Ash, obviously. And hopefully we can go three for three while on these Hydro Pumps. Get it rolling here. Oh, he paralyzed me. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. Hydro Pump comes through here and it connects, yo. Three for three on the Hydro Pumps. What a battle to get this video started. Nice little 6v6. Cool Pokemon all around. And we grab ourselves a victory. For battle number two, I was able to pick the rules yet again, but this time I set it to four. I made sure it was at four. We're rocking out against a cool team right here. We're going up against a Nido Queen, Tyranitar, Latios, Latias, Scizor, and Bree. All cool Pokemon. Let's get after it. Let's get rocking here. Definitely Weavile is going to be top tier up against a lot of these Pokemon. So I'm going to be leading. Weavile is just super, super good. We got Fake Out. We got Speed Control. And we have a lot of super effective shots on five of these Pokemon. Five of them. So yeah, you're, you're coming in here. No problem. I definitely want to bring Clefable too, but I don't think I want to lead a Clefable. I really don't think I want to lead that. Um, I could go with Lucario. I kind of like Lucario as a lead. Pick out, maybe set up a nasty pot. Get going from there. I do like that. And then we're going to make Fable. And then last but not least, uh, hmm. Hmm. Who do I want to go into here? Garchomp could be solid. Garchomp, Rotom, or Yanmega. All not bad here. I'm going to lean towards Yanmega due to the Latios and Latias. And the T-Tar. I, I, I like it. I really do like it. Let me get rocking in here. But the Scissor does scare me. The Scissor definitely does scare me. All right, we might, we, we're looking good, but like the scissor, man, the scissor. I'm just thinking, I just think like we're going to do good. And then the scissor is going to see him us. He's going to lead Latios or Latias and uh, Nidoqueen, which is totally fine by me. We have the Weavile out here pose a threat. We have the, uh, we have the Lucario here as well. So I really do like that. We have super effective moves all around, but I'm just going to fake out uh, Nidoqueen here. I'm going to set up a nasty. Yes, that's a hundred percent what I'm going to do. I'm gonna figure out you. Mwah. Give me the clapskies. All day clapskies. And Lucario shows that he outspeeds both of them. Which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. Hopefully that Latias isn't going for a tailwind. Because that could be tough for us. It could definitely be tough for us. Let's see what he does here. He does go for a tailwind. Okay. Um, so from here, I'm thinking of just Icy Winding and... And going for a Protect. I think that's got to be my play. I think that's got to be my play, right? This is going to be tough. I think Weavile might still be able to outspeed that Nidoqueen. 
It's gonna be kind of close. Ladia should have uh, full speed control now, but we would need a queen zone for it. Dracomir's gonna come through here. Yo, we pose such a big threat that our protect is gonna be huge. He's dropping EQ. Earth power. Oh my god, yo, what a protect. What a lovely protect. A lovely, absolutely lovely protect. Ice Wind's gonna poke here. Yeah, send it that way. Built. Beautiful. Get off some damage. And I think I'm going to have to. Who do I drop here? Who do I take out here? What am I gonna take out here? That's the real question. Nido Queen? Because I know my Weavile now outspeeds the Nido Queen. Maybe not the Ladia the Ladias. I could hard swap in a fable here. I'm gonna do. You know, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play really smart here. I'm gonna play really smart. I'm gonna swap in a fable. I'm gonna swap my Lucario in a fable. We know the Draco Meteor's coming through here. Oh, he swaps. God dang it, man. God dang it. Who's he going into though? He's gonna go in the scissor. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I hate this game. I hate it. I don't like it one bit. I don't like it one bit. Should have kept in our lovely, our lovely little boy. Who just avoid that attack? Who just avoid that attack? Come on. Who, who avoid that icy one? Nino Queen, of course. Okay, so now they're both minus one. God dang it, dude. I thought a Drake Meteor was coming in for sure. I thought it was coming in for sure. Nice swap by him. Earth Power's gonna fly through here. I don't know if he read that the Fable was coming in. But that Sheer Force, uh... That Sheer Force Nido Queen right there is ripping. It's doing some big damage. Okay, um... I think we just have to take out Nido Queen from here. Scissor is definitely not huge threat. I think we have to take out the Nido Queen here with an Ice Punch, right? And just follow me the shot. Yeah, we're gonna take out Nido Queen, and we're just gonna follow me this. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Because we know we've all outspeeds. We know we've all outspeeds, and we're trying to just kind of waste out these turns of Tailwind, because Tailwind's definitely doing me dirty here. The follow me's gonna poke here. I'm so scared of that Scissor. Like I said, Scissor, we knew Scissor was a threat for a while. Bull Punch gonna fly, we're dead. So Clefable's gonna drop out here. I don't know how we're gonna take out the Scissor. That's like my one flaw with this team right here. Is Scissor. Maybe Garchomp's our best bet. We have no Fire Pokemon to roll in here. Not even move with a Fire Coverage. We drop an Ice Punch. We take out Nidoqueen. This battle is... I told you guys. Yo, we're going to do fine. But Scissor's going to do us dirty. I said that. Their Tailwind finally is gone. Um, I could go into Yon Mega here. And just look for Air Slashes and just kind of just take Speed Control. I think that's my play. I think that is probably my best bet. Is maybe look for Flinches and just kind of just go from here. It's going to go into... Uh, Breloom's going to poke out here. Breloom. Breloom's going to poke out here. Um, so Breloom comes out here. Ah, oh, dude, this is so tough. This is so tough. And you know what? I'm just going to... I'm going to Icy Wind here. They, oh, they, have, they both have first turn priority. It's really not worth going for this. What do I do here? Throw Chop? Yeah, we're going to have to throw Chop on you. And you know what? I'm just going to go for this Air Slash here. The Air Slash is four times super effective on him. And we are Sash. Protect comes out. Okay, from Breloom. That's fine. We are going to throw Chop here. I wonder what this thing's going for. Maybe a bull punch. It's not going for bull punch. It's trying to set up a sword stance. Not bad throw chop. Air slash comes out here, gets blocked. That's fine. And what's he going for? What's he going for X scissor? He goes for the sword stance. Oh. We do not like that one bit. Not one bit. Uh ch -ch -ch -ch. Hmm. I'm trying to think how I can win this one. I'm trying to think how I can win this one. Weavile. What are you gonna do? We might need our fake out again. We might need to just hard swap into Lucario here. And just try to get fake out rolling again. That might be our best bet. Just go into an air slash here. Yeah, we're gonna need our fake out. 100%. 100%. Hundo percent though. Lucario get the swap. We still focus Ash on Yamega, which is wonderful. And this thing is just gonna drop a mock punch and. We just get dropped. We just get dropped, dude. These first turn priorities are doing us dirty. That's gonna bring us down to Sash all day. That oh, it doesn't even bring us down to Sash. Wow. Air Slash coming through here. How much damage are we gonna do? Get a crit, yo. Take a seat out, please. Oh my god, dude. That would have been so clutch. That would have been so clutch. Okay, uh. We know Breloom Rock, Rocks Protect. What do I wanna do here? Dude, the double first turn priorities doing us dirty. Doing us so dirty. He's gonna take out my Yon Mega. No problem, right? Ah, oh, dude, I hate this game. <laughs> I hate this game. Oh my lord, uh, what do I want to do? I have to go for a fake out, but who am I faking out? We could read the, uh, it don't matter. My Yamega is dead. It does not matter. My Yamega is dead. I'm going to read the protect on the Breloom, but Yamega is dead. If he was smart, he'd just go double first in priority. He withdraw scissor. Wow. Withdraw scissor. He goes into Larias. And Breloom does protect, so this ain't a bad turn. 
This is not a bad turn here. Not a bad turn for us. Fake out's gonna poke here. Yeah, he chipping up some damage, and he's gonna set up that talent. I'm trying to think, dude. There's like a there's like a chance we win this. He has a berry. Okay, so if I had to guess, he's gonna go straight from Mach Punch into my Yamega to take him out. And at this point, I think I just have to go straight into a uh, oh, what's it called here, right? An Ice Punch into the Breloom. And protect you. And hope that he comes across here. Hopefully he's not going for the mock punch in the Weebot. If that's the case, we lose. If that's the case, we will lose battle number two. Let's see what Alex one plays out. So big old, big time protect comes out here. Go for the mock punch in him. And he goes for the Weebot. God dang it, man. <laughs> and he goes for the Weebot. I just thought, I knew it was uh, super effective onto the Weebot. But I was just like, okay, maybe we have a shot here. Because Yamega is such low health and he's super fast and he does a lot of damage. Maybe he would mock punch and think he was a threat, but that's it. That's GG's. Maybe he'll miss this mock punch. We can get off a nice lovely air slash, but it's over regardless. It is over regardless. Solid second battle there. Like I said, uh, a lot of his Pokemon just kind of counteract on me. Definitely his first turn prior to moves stole the show. He didn't even go for the mock punch there. Wow. So we would have brought this thing down to Sash. I knew it was Sash all along. But uh, yeah, his first turn priority moves, mock punch, bull punch really just did a sturdy. Really, really did a sturdy there. If I had a focus ash on Weebile, it probably would have been a different story, but I had no protect, no focus ash, so Weebile just couldn't take a shot. It just couldn't take a shot. But there it is, GG, one and one for today's video. Let's go grab ourselves a winning record in the third and final battle. We've been going up against some absolute bangers of teams in today's video, and same goes for this third battle. We're going up against a really cool team with Rumble, Victory Bell. He also has the Drought combo with that, uh, what is that, the Nine Tails, and then he has the Garchomp. The Staraptor and the Cresselia. So I can definitely see the uh, Sun combo coming out here. So I got to leave Weavile, get Fake Out rolling, and kind of just go from there. Really do dig that. I really do dig that. So we're going to leave Weavile, and I think we're going to go Yam Mega here as well. I don't know why, but I really like Yam Mega here. Oh, I could set up a safeguard. Safeguard could be solid for us. But Yam Mega is just super effective up against the, the Victory Bell, which could, you know, do us really good. It definitely do us really good. But again, then the Nine Tails is just super effective on the boat. Which is tough. That's real tough. <laughs> but um, we're definitely going to go Weebile. Um, I think we'll save Yamega for the back end. I might leave Lucario. Lucario could be a solid lead. I kind of like him here. Or I could go into Garchomp. But no. I like Lucario a little bit better here. So we're going to go Lucario. We're also going to bring uh, Yamega. And then last but not least, I'm leaning more towards Rotom here. I'm leaning more towards Rotom over Garchomp. Just because Rotom will be super effective up against uh, the Star Raptor and the... Uh, what is that thing? The nine tails. Okay, I'm with it. Let's lock it down. Let's lock it in. Let's look to grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. I think most videos except for one, I grabbed a winning record in BDSP, but this one, we might not. We might not. We're sitting at one on one. This our opponent seems looking very, very strong. So he has Intimidate coming out here. We do have Inner Focus ready to roll. He's probably just going to U-turn or pivot out into uh into nine tails, which is totally fine. Which in this case, you know what? I'm just going to fake out you. I'm just going to hit you with a fake out, and I think I'm just going to flash cannon. Alright, chip up some damage here. He has to be going for a U-turn. No way he goes for the hard swap. If he's leading Star Raptor, he definitely just wants to uh, go for the U-turn. Let's some rock U-turn, so. Let's see, let's see, let's see if he's, uh, if he's about it. He hard swaps it. He hard swaps? How dare he? Now, who's he putting to sleep? That's the real question. Oh, he goes for Chris Cresselia. Cresselia? This thing still outs me. Oh, no, it's just okay. It's just protecting. So this thing protects. Uh, what do we do from here? Big out comes out. Clap. Doing a little chip damage. I was going to set up a nasty bot too. I was going to set up a nasty bot. That would have been a great turn. Would have been a lovely turn. To okay. So from here, I think I'm just going to ice punch and set up a nasty bot. I'm with it all day. Ice punch. Nasty bot. A good hard swap from him, but I'm, I'm confused to why the Cresselia. I am a little confused with that. I am confused with that. So we'll, see, we'll see how this one plays. We shall see how this one plays. Oh, Cresselia hard swap. I could have put $100 on uh, the Nine Tails going in here. Now he withdraws Cresselia. Fine, he's going to go on the Nine Tails now, right? Yeah. Nine Tails comes flying out here. So now Victory Bell's the only one getting a shot. He's going to probably put somebody to sleep. Hopefully he misses. Maybe RNG could be on our side. Let's see. Make it happen. Weather Ball's coming in here. Who's taking out? Who are you taking out? He's out Lucario, okay. Lucario drops out. God dang it. Lucario, I love you, but you're dead. <laughs> I don't know if Lucario got off a shot today. His HP is gonna go down the life orb, and I think we take him out here. Ice Punch should be able to dump on him. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful. We love that turn. Okay. So now from here, 
could just go straight into, uh, who do I go into? He's probably gonna go back into Cresselia. Go into you. I could go into Yamega and just double down. Dude, but that thing poses such a big threat. I'm gonna go on the Rotom here. We have to get rid of this Ninetales more than anything. Ninetales is just, he's just irking me a little bit. Because we know is probably gonna poke out here, right? Nope, he goes back into the Raptor. The Star Raptor. Raptor. Raptor comes out here and, uh, what do I do? I could Ice Punch into that thing. But again, I think he hard, I think he's going to U-turn or something along those lines, right? I do definitely see that coming. I don't know why, but I, I go for another. I think Icing Wing could be solid. Grant Speed Control for team. And I, I don't think Star Raptor's staying in here. No one Rotom's here. I think he, I think he has to U-turn out or Hard Swap into Cresselia. So I'm just going to Hydro Pump into the side here. Yep, there's U-turn. So good call by me. Weavile is able to soak up, and Weavile's going to be able to drop an Icing Wing on both these Pokemon. Allow my Rotom to outspeed and maybe take it off Sash if, uh... If Ninetales is Sash, and we're gonna hope that this Hydro Pump can prevail and take out this uh take out this Ninetales. Because if we get rid of Ninetales, we can be sitting in such a good spot. Such a good spot here. Such a good spot. With the Yamega going up against Cresselia. Could be good. Could be good. So we need to land this Hydro Pump right here. Right here, right now. Let's do it. Make it happen. Connect. Take it out. Even in the sun, yo, you're better. You were just 10 times better. Make it happen. Make it happen. We do not make it happen, but still, not bad damage. I'll take it all day. Solar Beam? Oh, so Solar Beam? <laughs> Leave me alone! Go after Weavile, please. Go after Weavile. Solar Beam is flying, dude. It's flying. Eat that up. I love you, Rotom. I love you. You're my best friend. You are indeed my best friend. Okay. Do we have Citrus Berry? I, well, now we're sitting pretty good. I go for a Throw Chop in the Cresselia, which is probably my best bet. Just take off some damage. Even though we are minus two with the Weavile, maybe we can get a crit. You never know. You never know, but another Hydro Pump, if it lands, can take that out. And I'm maybe, actually, I think a Thunderbolt can take that thing out. I do think a Thunderbolt can take that out. So, you know, we're going to go there. And I'm not even going to go for the Hydro Pump. I'm just going to go straight for the Thunderbolt. Just in case he wants to swap with the Star Rapid on that slot. We'll see. And that does protect. So, solid protect on him. Hopefully, Cresselia cannot take me out. Third chop flying through it. Yeah, oh, give me crit. No crit, but still solid damage on a Cresselia. Thunderbolt gets blocked. And Cresselia miss or something. Don't, don't, don't kill me. Calm mind. Okay. Calm mind. He calm minding. He is calm minding. Uh, Thunderbolt's gonna have to drop again, and we're just gonna keep throwing throw chops out. God dang Cresselia, man. Yo, Cresselia's bulky, dude. This Pokemon is bulky. Alright, let's rock it. Let's do it. Same, same turn. Gotta do the same thing. We'll go here, and then we'll just drop a nice lovely Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Yeah, yeah. Night tells goes for double protect. Cool. It misses. Throw chop flying. Oh, uh, not bad damage, yo. We chipping. We get some chip damage off there. Thunderbolt's gonna fly through here later. Later. So we get rid of him. Uh, what's our play from here? Star Raptor does outspeed us, doesn't it? Does outspeed us. Is it calm mine again? It's just gonna go for a second, and that's going to take out my Rotom. Ouch. 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 And hmm, what's the call from here? What is the call from here? What's the call? We obviously go into yeah, Mega. Dude, this one's coming down to the wire. Yo, solid battle say. He win or, win or lose. We didn't really get to show off Lucario too much, but Lucario is just a powerhouse. He's just a glass cannon. I should have given him the focus ash, in my opinion, over to Yamega. But Yamega thrives with the focus ash. So he's going to go into Star Raptor. And Timmy's going to poke here. That's fine. We are going to drop a Bug Buzz into, uh. Into what's it called? Into Cresselia. That's definitely a play. And we're going to try to get off this Ice Punch here. Ice Punch could be good. So we're going to go Bug Buzz. We're going to go Ice Punch. See how this one plays. He goes for a Brave Bird. And cool. Go on the Go on the No, he gets some Weavile. God dang it. And I'll take that. I mean, he'll take some recoil damage here. As long as we can get off some huge damage on the Cresselia, we can be sitting in such a good spot. Do we still have our Focus Ash? We still have that lovely little Focus Ash. Bug Buzz comes out here. Give me a crit, dude. Give me a crit. Yamega. I brought you here for a reason. That's some big damage, Yamega. That is some big damage. This thing's going to go for... Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Moonlight comes out here. Moonlight! Oh, my lord. Moonlight pokes through here. Harsh sunlight does fade. What's our play, Jeans? What's the play, Jeans? I do not know. I do not know. We should outspeed the Star Raptor now, being plus one. Um, It might be a choice. That might be why he was hard swapping. Could be choice. Do I protect again? But no, I think the Cresselia might protect here. So in this case, I'm just going to go for a Sarah Slash. Raper. God dang it. We're dead. We lost. <laughs> we lost. Focus Ash gonna poke here. We just need Cresselia to miss, but chance are it's not happening. Focus Ash comes out here. How much damage are we doing here? See, now, if this was the case... 
tell if it, if it didn't moonlight i would have i would have went after Cresselia to try to take that out oh my lord dude oh dude this would have won we had a if it, this thing didn't moonlight we probably would have won because i would have just bug buzzed again taken out the Cresselia, trigger my focus ash and then protect next turn to get another speed boost to make sure that we outspeed and then just rolled from there just rolled from there but yo ggs to our opponents today one and two we grab ourselves out of losing record not too bad for today's video. One win with two losses. Grab yourself the losing record. And that's the first time in a while I had a losing record in BDSP. But hey, I like this team all around. I think it was very cool, but it's just filled with glass cans. Jan, Mega, Weebile, and Lucario, they pretty much all die in one shot. They're really good on their own, but I feel like me pairing them together was kind of a no-no. It was definitely a bad play by me, but still, I had a lot of fun with this team and rocked out with them in the end. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.